Hey, 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 Joe Gilder here from homestudiocorner.com, and we're talking get it right at the source. Uh, this is performance part two. So we talked in the last video about how important the performer is. Now we gotta talk about the instrument itself. Now, that may seem weird, what about the instrument? Well, ideally, you're gonna pick the perfect instrument for that specific part. Now, if you only have one guitar, then that's really only gonna be your option. But I would challenge you to either try to get a few additional guitars or find access to them. So here's an example. I was recording my last album, and I had this, uh, this part that was supposed to kind of do this boom, boom, ja, do, 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 so the acoustic was playing that part. And then I wanted that pan to the left, and then I wanted an electric guitar, basically doubling that part, having that pan to the right. So I reached for my favorite guitar, which is my Gibson uh, Les Paul Studio. And isn't she cute? Her name's Babe. So I grabbed Babe, plugged her in, and tried to get a decent tone. And it just wasn't working for the song. It's, the, it's my favorite guitar. It's my most expensive guitar. Why is it not working? I could have made it work and just forced it to work, but it just wasn't feeling right. I wasn't getting it right at the source. So I went into the closet, got this old girl out. This is... Uh, my little $400 Ibanez Artcore hol semi hollow body. Uh, her name is Inez. Isn't that cute? And uh, got it out, plugged it in, started playing, and it was exactly the tone that I needed for the song. It was a little bit chunkier, had a little bit more transient to it. It just matched the acoustic guitar much better. If I hadn't had that guitar, if I had sold it like I wanted to when I got the new guitar, I wouldn't have had that tone for that song, and the song wouldn't be as good as it is. Since I did use that part, the song sounds great and I didn't have to sacrifice anything. So depending on the part, you want to make sure you use the right instrument for the song. And that includes making sure that the instrument is tuned, whether it's a guitar, obviously you want things in tune. You want drums to be in tune. You want to have the right drums for the part, the right bass. There's lots of places where this plays out. Uh, my brother-in-law, Joel, plays bass and he's got three or four basses now that he uses pretty regularly for recording. And on my album, for example, he used at least three basses throughout the song, or throughout the album. Some songs needed one tone, some songs needed another. So it's kind of behooves you to know what tones you can get out of your instruments, and then also to know that it's okay to switch things out and to try something cheap if it has the right tone that you want. So instrumentation is great. Performance is super important. And then having the right instrument for that performance, that's when the magic starts happening. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.